you that got just back in it. We really didn't do anything differently. You know, everybody thinks there's like a magic word or a magic pill. We just do what we do. And uh, we got Josh Lay up there, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. And uh, we had an idea of what we wanted to do, but uh, we have to execute. We executed a play that we've run a few times this year and uh, got a layup and you know, kind of got us stopped the bleeding a little bit and got us kind of back in uh, back in the flow. That their slowed down style, they're a little more fast paced than that. Did the slow down throw you guys off at all? They're just very physical. And, and, and their, their physicalness was, was, was to their advantage, uh, but that's the way they play. We have a little more of a, more of a finesse, cutting, moving kind of team. And I thought where they got us in the first half um, was their aggressiveness on the offensive glass. I thought, I thought our defense was pretty good, but they had six offensive rebounds, which I think they probably converted uh, four of those for field goals. And uh, that was the difference. The third, they were a very physical team. You know, they ended the game with 12 offensive rebounds. It's hard to. You know, so second chance points were very, very big in their favor. But again, that, that's kind of, it, at times it's an advantage to us, at times it's a disadvantage. We played a bigger lineup, put Steve at point guard, I played Josh, excuse me, and Jason Dietrich together. Uh, which I think kind of brought us back. Gave us a little bit more physicalness in there. And uh, you know, we just uh, had a couple shots rattle, rattle around. You know, we grew up two, and uh, Josh gets a corner jump shot off a pass from Steve, mm -hmm. and it's halfway down. Mm -hmm. We got five, but it didn't. Yeah. It made, made the right play, it didn't, uh, didn't go away. Yeah, Steve, take me through the second half there. You're 0, 0 for 4 from the field in the first half. You just came alive in the second. Take, take, take us through that. I don't really know. I mean, you get the looks, and then they just start to fall. You can't really explain it. I think our energy kind of changed once we started getting on that rally. And Josh had a couple, Brandon had a couple, and we were getting inside. So I guess that's what got me going. Um, we, we all got good looks throughout the game. We just didn't do it as good as we could have done. Talk about the look on the last shot of the game, You know what was drawn up, and, and how well it went. Uh, we ran that. Two years ago, yeah, it, 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 it's a play we've had in. Uh, we just put it back in on uh, Wednesday, and uh, it's, it's, a, it's a great play for us. Um, and we have great shooters. And, uh, Steve might be the best at going away from the basket, so that's why we run it for him. Uh, Josh had a hell of a night. I wish I would have had something uh, to get him a book off the three. Uh, it was a little bit of misdirection. With four seconds, you don't have a lot of options. Got the hook going to one of the left Steve's hands. When the ball leaves his hands up, I'm surprised when it doesn't go in. That's how you know when you have a really good shooter, a great shooter. You're surprised when they miss, and I was surprised when they miss. Josh, take me through the second half there, just out of the gates. And you get the team right back in it with that five point spurt, and then on, on the 11 0 run, you had, I believe, five of the 11 points, and you had 13 in, in the second half. Really, you, you two put the rally on your backs. Yeah, I mean, the whole season, I mean, I credit my teammates, uh, Brandon and Steve being great shooters, and Dan and Trump uh, being more courses in the post. So I kind of just play off of them, and that's where my opportunities come. I mean, I, I, I believe I'm a very good shooter, so I hit a couple threes, got myself going, had to close down a little hard, and started going to the basket. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Coach, what worked early in the in the beginning with Weiss down there in the post? It seemed like he was really backing down Nelson pretty good. Well, we thought was in our scout, we knew they played dead behind the post. Uh -huh. um, so we wanted to throw him the ball and let him go to work. Uh -huh. And again, um, Nelson's very strong. You know, so as Nelson kind of got his forearm into him, Danny had a tough time getting much farther. Um, but uh, I thought it was a good approach uh, to at least Throw it in the post, make them turn and look at it to open up our uh, our perimeter game a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we, Danny scored on our first eight. Yeah. And, uh, you know, but, but, you know, didn't get a whole lot after that with 14. But you know, like that's, that's you know that, that's a good number for Danny. I'm sure probably do a few more touches. He and Trout play well in and out together. Trout's a little better defensively. Trout's a little bit more physical. Um, that's why I played Trout more. I thought we needed the physical presence, particularly uh, on the interior. As you were waiting for this to begin, Coach, I saw just a moment, a little brief little bit of a breakdown. 
what does this season and what does this group mean to you? And I also want to get Stephen and Josh's input too as to what this season and group has meant to them. This team had an unbelievable amount of trust. And the reason they had so much trust is because they're such good people. We worked on, on trust as one of our one of our values. And nobody wanted to do anything to let one another down. And uh, you know, like we talked about no regrets. And uh, you know, when they looked at one another in the locker room, you know, there's no regrets. You know, no should have, would have, could have. You know, I think we did everything we could have. Um, but uh, came up a little bit short. But again, uh, you know, somebody asked me a couple weeks ago, you know, winning 20 games, how does it feel? Well, at this time, it didn't. This stuff doesn't feel good. You know, down the road, you'll be able to sit and look back and appreciate appreciate the effort and the togetherness. Uh, and it was everybody. You know, well, you know, it's not just Josh and Steve. You know, it's Zach Newby and you know, Glenn Nanius, and, you know, guys that uh, you know don't get a lot of the glory, but uh, you know held up their share of the bargain uh, from day one. So it was really, really a great year. Yeah. Steve. By far the most together team I've ever played for. You know, we speak Josh's sophomore year, uh, he was hurt in my freshman year. We really talk about that team as being really together, but this team trusted it like no other. You know, I, I really looked at this year as my senior year. This is that we played with Josh and Brand for three years, and people don't realize how much we play together because we play pickup four or five times a week. So we've played thousands of times together. So it's just. It was an incredible year. We're going to look back on it and like just look back on all the great memories and how many wins we actually got and breaking school records. It's something we really value. We wish we could have gotten farther. We wish we could have won a conference championship, but we did what we could and we left off. Yeah, as Coach said, no regrets. But uh, regarding, I mean, uh, through playing basketball here, I, I got it's my second family. I mean, I, I have a big group of brothers now, and from. Uh, the starting five to the last man on the roster, I think we truly are all brothers, all unselfish, all take a bullet for each other, and that's what I love about this team. Honestly, um, freshman year I didn't have that quite this experience, but uh, credit the leaders, sophomore year, Jake, Eskin, Wally, for uh, getting it back on track, but I didn't think I'd ever see a team like I had in high school, but this far, far outweighs what I ever had in high school. And, um, I, love, I, mean, I love my team, like I said. And I'm, Definitely not not too happy now, but uh, me and Brandon were talking about it uh, before before uh, the NCAA tournament. We just wanted to leave a legacy, and I know we did what a lot of people couldn't at this university. So I mean, I, I got to try to keep my head high at this time because I'm still proud of what I accomplished. Just wish we could have went a little further. All right, that's it.